Have you ever gazed up at the night sky and felt overwhelmed by the number of stars you see? It's a sensation that has crossed the minds of many. The feeling of being a tiny speck in the vast cosmic canvas that is our universe. But what if I told you that each of those pinpricks of light you see might be much more than just a star? Imagine the night sky as a giant neighborhood. In this celestial neighborhood, each light you see is not merely a house, but a whole city of its own. Each of these cities, or stars, could be a sun, much like our own. Now think about what circles around our sun. Planets, moons, asteroids, and comets. This is our solar system. So if each of those stars could be a sun, then it's not a stretch to think that they might also have their own solar systems. Now, let's take a step back and think about the sheer number of stars. Astronomers estimate that there are about 100 billion galaxies in the observable universe. Each of these galaxies holds between 10 million to 1 trillion stars. That's a staggering amount of stars and potentially a staggering amount of solar systems. Let's put it into perspective. If each star was a grain of sand, the number of stars in the universe would be enough to cover all the deserts and beaches on Earth. That's an unfathomable amount of sand, right? Now imagine that each grain of sand, each star, could be a sun with its own family of planets, moons, and asteroids. Yes, it's mind-boggling to think about. It's a testament to the vastness of the universe and the potential for countless solar systems. But it also brings us back to our initial sense of being a small speck in a vast cosmos. Yes, each of those twinkling lights could be a sun with its own family of planets, moons and asteroids. And just like that, the universe seems a little bit larger and our place in it a little bit smaller. So, what exactly is a solar system? Let's take a step back from the vastness of the universe and focus on this fundamental question. A solar system, in simplest terms, is a family in space. It's a cosmic community, a gravitational bond of celestial bodies orbiting around a single star. This family includes not only planets, but also moons, asteroids, comets, and even the occasional space dust or gas. Now, let's consider the star of this celestial show, the star itself. The star serves as the heart of the solar system, its gravitational pull keeping everything in place. It's a luminous sphere of plasma, producing light and heat through nuclear fusion. This energy not only lights up the system, but also plays a crucial role in the development and sustenance of life on any existing planets. Speaking of planets, these are the major inhabitants of a solar system. They are large celestial bodies that orbit the star, each with their own unique characteristics, from gaseous giants to rocky dwarfs. Some may even host life, as is the case with our very own Earth. And then there are the moons, asteroids, and comets. Moons, also known as natural satellites, orbit planets, while asteroids and comets mostly inhabit the outer regions of the solar system, often forming a kind of boundary. To put it into perspective, think about our very own solar system. We have the Sun, our star, eight planets from Mercury to Neptune, countless moons, and a vast array of asteroids and comets, all coexisting in this cosmic neighborhood. But remember, this is just one solar system, our solar system. It's a small slice of the cosmic pie, a single drop in the vast ocean of the universe. And this brings us to an intriguing question. If our universe is so vast, just how many solar systems like ours are out there? It's a mind-boggling thought, isn't it? Now that we've grasped the concept of a solar system, Let's ponder over the number of such systems in the universe. Just imagine, if each star could potentially be a sun, then how many solar systems might there be in the universe? That's a question that has fascinated astronomers for decades. And while we don't have a definite answer, we can make some educated guesses. First, let's consider our own galaxy, the Milky Way. It's estimated to contain around 200 billion stars. Now, not all of these stars will have planets orbiting them, but a significant proportion likely will. In fact, recent discoveries suggest that it's more common for a star to have planets than not. But here's where things get really interesting. 
the Milky Way is just one of an estimated 2 trillion galaxies in the observable universe. That's trillion with a T. So, if we were to multiply the number of stars in our galaxy by the number of galaxies in the universe, we'd be looking at a number in the region of 400 sextillion. That's a 4 followed by 22 zeros. Now, not every one of those stars will have a solar system. Some will be solitary stars, others will be in binary systems or larger clusters. But even if just one in a hundred stars has a solar system, we'd still be looking at a number in the quintillions. That's quintillions of potential homes for planets, moons, asteroids and comets. Quintillions of places where the conditions might be just right for life as we know it to exist. So next time you look up at the night sky, remember that each point of light could be a sun. Each could be the center of its own solar system. Each could have planets orbiting it, and who knows, maybe even life. It's a number so vast, it's almost unimaginable. But it's a reminder of just how massive, how wonderfully complex, and how beautifully abundant our universe truly is. Why does the number of solar systems matter to us? This question may seem simple, but it opens up a universe of profound understanding and exploration. Understanding the number of solar systems in the universe isn't just a matter of satisfying our inherent human curiosity, although that is certainly one compelling reason. It reaches far beyond that, into the realm of understanding our own place in the universe. When we study other solar systems, we're not just looking at distant stars and planets. We're also looking at potential mirrors of our own solar system. These mirrors can reveal insights about how our own system formed, evolved, and will eventually die. They can show us the cosmic processes at play, the complex dance of gravity and energy that shapes the universe. Each new solar system we discover is like a page in a cosmic history book, offering tantalizing clues about the past, present and future of our own home. The more solar systems we know, the more pages we have to read, the more we can learn about ourselves. But there's more. The search for solar systems is also a search for life. Life as we know it needs a planet, and planets are found in solar systems. If we can find a solar system with a planet that's just right, the so-called Goldilocks zone, where conditions are not too hot, not too cold, but just right, we might just find life there. This is a quest that transcends science. It's a quest that speaks to the heart of what it means to be human, to our deep-seated desire to reach out, to explore, to find others in the vast cosmic ocean. So the number of solar systems matters because every new system discovered is another chance to learn, to grow, to possibly find life, and ultimately to better understand our place in the grand tapestry of the cosmos. The universe is a grand cosmic dance and every solar system is a unique performer. So, the next time you look up at the stars, remember, remember the enormity of what you're gazing upon. Each twinkling light in the night sky is not merely a star, but a sun. And around these suns could very well be orbiting planets, asteroids, comets, and other celestial bodies, forming countless solar systems each with its own unique characteristics and mysteries. We've journeyed through the universe together in this video, exploring the concept of solar systems. We've discovered how these celestial families, with their suns and planets, asteroids and comets, create the stunning tapestry of the cosmos. From our own solar system to those light years away, we've marveled at their abundance and diversity. We've also delved into the significance of these solar systems not just as mere collections of celestial bodies, but as gateways to understanding the universe and our place within it. Solar systems are like cosmic laboratories, offering us profound insights into the laws of physics, the life cycle of stars, the formation of planets, and possibly the existence of life beyond Earth. But the universe is not just about numbers and scientific facts. It's about the stories these numbers tell, the mysteries these facts unravel, and the awe-inspiring sense of wonder they evoke. The universe is not just a vast, impersonal expanse of space, but a grand, cosmic stage where the drama of existence unfolds in all its glory. 
So as we wrap up, let's not forget the vastness of the universe and the abundance of solar systems within it. Let's continue to marvel at the wonders of the cosmos, to seek answers to our questions, and to explore the uncharted territories of space. Because the more we learn about these distant solar systems, the more we learn about ourselves and our home in the cosmos. Remember, each star is a sun, each sun a solar system, and each solar system a unique world waiting to be discovered.